New search warrants and photos obtained today by News 13 show Thomas Bryson's truck was spray painted while the man accused of killing him was on the run. And those warrants show Philip Stroop II was driving that truck when he was arrested. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us now live with new details tonight. Evan? Yeah, those details come from those new warrants, which were released today. They say that when Philip Stroop II was captured Thursday morning, he was driving Thomas Bryson's silver Honda Ridgeline truck, but that the truck had recently been spray painted black along the bottom half. That spray paint would become a key in the investigation. These photos of Thomas Bryson's truck were first obtained exclusively by News 13. They show efforts to disguise the truck with black spray paint sometime last Wednesday after police say Philip Stroop II had stolen it. New warrants also show investigators found similar black spray paint on the ground outside this house where one of the people charged with helping Stroop lives. Jennifer Hawkins and Frederick Bajero say Stroop showed up and asked for their help and they said no. We didn't give him shelter. Um, he stayed outside in the truck most of the time that he was there. So we told him we could not help him and wanted this to go away. Hawkins and Bajero say Stroop got forceful and didn't give them an option. He said, you ready to go? Yes, I really wasn't, I, but you know, I knew the consequences of if I didn't, it, they, they had to harm them, you know what I'm saying? So I jump in the car and I'm behind it and I seen blacks. All I seen, I didn't even know it was gray. All I seen was black. I thought it was a black truck because I followed them. The truck itself wasn't originally Tommy Bryson's. Family members tell News 13 it came from his brother when he died in 2011. That Honda uh, was his, Arnold's, and he, he left it for Tommy. Yeah, yeah, they were close. He was a super nice guy. Now tonight, people will line the roads from here at Westveld Park down to South Mills River Road near where Tommy Bryson lived. They'll be holding candles and flashlights to honor Bryson's life. That vigil starts at 845. You can see the entire route at WLOS.com. And of course, we'll cover it tonight on News 13 at 10 and 11. Reporting live in Henderson County, Evan Donovan, News 13. Here are the funeral arrangements.